Hey y'all. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do more microcontroller adventures uh, today. This is our fun microcontroller. Um, we got a bit of time before next adventure. So yeah, uh, let's uh, see what we can do. Okay, code button. Oh, oh yeah, let's find out. The group groups. Make sure that the stream stream is going. Yeah. Let's check this. Okay, I'm gonna put on some uh, eight bit commercial free music. Yeah, royalty free music. Eight bit royalty free music. I actually, I don't remember if I put on my stay or not. Hmm. Interesting question. I think I meant to. I don't know if I did. No, yeah, it looks like I did. That's sucks. Okay. Uh, do test. Okay. Yeah, that works. Whatever. Okay. Cool. So, um, now, next thing I'm going to do is try and connect to the device. Um, right now, what I'm trying to do is get it to send me logs. Okay, so it says log to memory allocation failed allocating 40 bytes. Interesting. Uh, I guess let's, okay. That's why. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, so I guess read lines reads all of the lines at once. Wow. Exactly. No, this is for my uh, motorcycle project. Um, although they use the same like microcontrol, uh, yeah, microcontroller. So like, you know, eh. Uh, hmm. Um. So like, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm glad. For uh, 
Okay, cool. So that's great. Uh, so we're going to switch this uh, for line in. So and enumerate. And that'll hopefully. Ooh, that's a lot of lines. Also. Okay, okay. If I do this do this. Is it going to give me what I want or no? Oh, yeah, that actually kind of does. So I can just get this in memory. Looks like we don't have to do that. We don't have to just add the extra new line. It also looks like over in the logging part. Um, okay. Micro Python log file, right? Okay, micro Python. So this is implying that it's inserting the new line automatically. Okay, Python file right. Like, is it automatically inserting the new line in MicroPython? Which is really similar to Python, but not quite. So, yeah, okay. So this this looks like it is automatically inserting the new lines. So Earlier when I was doing this, it wasn't inserting the new lines automatically, so I'm a little bit confused, but that's that's all right. Whatever. So let's build and flash the firmware again. And we will see.
bashing to do okay cool and now we're connected back to it great so now i try my blue blue fruit connect from the adafruit folks press connect blurb and we're going to submit the l character fuck yeah okay oh wait yeah it's here okay Ooh, although we're seeing a lot of error messages come up so like that's not i'm not loving it and is there like a oh there is an export option that's kind of nice Okay, so fail to send enomem in send log. Okay, so let's let's handle that. Okay, um, micro python DLE enomem. Ah, here we go. Mm, okay. So Okay, that's if R is less than five. Okay, self dot send data. Okay, retry up to five times. Um, not super familiar with LLVM. Like, I, I know it exists, but yeah, I don't really. This, this stuff is all compiled with MicroPython down to GCC. I think it's GCC. The LLVM stuff looks hella cool. 
Um, I spend most of my life most of my life in the JVM. Uh, we try up to five times. Uh, okay, except exception as E. Um, the ELE buffer can get full quickly. Okay. Then, uh, okay. Yeah, there, there are um, Circuit Python, but Circuit Python is fundamentally just. MicroPython with a different skin on top of it um, that I honestly don't like as much, which is part of why I'm using MicroPython. Um, like, CircuitPython doesn't let you do interrupts or, like, pretty useful things like that. Um, eh, I mean the JVM. Like, we're not using the JVM here, right, because it's, it's not going to run on on a microcontroller like this. But like in general, I'm pretty happy with the JVM. It's getting better. Um, GraalVM looks really, really hacking cool. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah, the, the JVM is kind of weird. Um, but it's been getting a lot better. I mostly write Scala code on the JVM. Uh, I, I mean, the, the part that I don't love about the JVM is, like, it's owned by Oracle. Uh, all right, here I go. Yeah, functional programming on the JVM is a little rough, but it's been getting a lot better um, thanks to, to Scala. Like, um, I think that really pushed the JVM forward in terms of having better functional language support. Um, yeah, I'm really disappointed with the ACA relicensing though. That that's been really depressing. Um, I, yeah, I shouldn't talk too much about the licensing stuff, though. Uh, but anyways, okay, cool. So, um, what we've got here is we've got a little exponential back off, um, and, you know, um, essentially this is just like the BLE buffer can get full quickly if we're not reading from it super fast. Sounds reasonable. Um, so we'll, we'll hope for the best on that. Um, So there we go. Um, we're going to go back, connect to the PCFGB, open up the UART. We're going to send the L command. 
Ah, okay. Fuck that one up. Got time imported in main, but not in here. Cool. Um, you know, that happens. Do that again. Hopefully that'll do the trick. I um I don't have a Patreon. Um the the closest I've got is uh like GitHub sponsors. Um it's like here. I've thought about making something like that, but I, I don't know, like, my day job covers my bills, and the, the GitHub sponsors is mostly just, like, the, the people that sponsor me there, I, I use that time to, to work on mostly the testing stuff that I, I care about, but, um, you know, my employer really doesn't care about. Uh, oof. Um, maybe one day. I don't know. I don't know. Life is. Yeah, and I've got I've got some subscribers on Twitch, uh, too, which is very nice. Um, I I appreciate what they do. Um, and 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 that's rad. Um. But yeah. Okay, cool. So this looks like it's running again. Let's see. Okay, reconnect. You are send it the character L, which is Okay, cool. So it looks it looks like it's actually doing its thing. Um We're still running into this like sort of buffer issue, which, like, this is kind of a hack, but it's working, right? Um, so we're going to do a commit, and we'll go from there, right? We'll, we'll come up with something better in a little bit. Uh, okay, um, let's take a look. What's here? Uh, what have we done? Okay. Uh, try and fix the logging and uh, initial calibration save plus BTLE back off when doing the log dump. Uh, okay, not perfect, but progress. So, how how are we gonna fix this? Um, that's that's a good question. So I want to try and figure out if there's a better way of handling this email mem micropython BLE, right? And so there's this random post from someone back in 2021 saying that they fixed it, uh, but I'm not... Let's go take a look. Let's see what we can do. Uh, this is specifically in UR requests. Um, okay. Yeah. Um. Okay hasn't been merged yet. Uh, let's go take a look at this pull request. Um, closed, not merged, probably. Or did it get merged? Oh, it did get merged. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, 
I really like writing, and I really like reading. Okay, superseded in this one. So maybe let's go take a look. Um, oh, yeah. So I do actually have a few books. Um, they live here. Um, and so some of them are for, for distributed systems and stuff. Um, I'm really excited. Scaling Python with Ray should be coming out soon. Um, so that's exciting. Okay. But yeah, let's see here. Uh, so this is specifically Unix H4 URI. Uh, okay. Well, so I think I think the main thing that we take away from this um, is that the r times r here, like this is probably a bit too too intensive a delay. Like it generally doesn't take uh, anywhere near a second to clear the buffer. Um, We tried, uh, we tried to send data um, r times, but still failed. Okay, cool. And so then, yeah, um, we do from the discussion and. Um, okay. So we'll, we'll start at that. Um, still not great, right? Like I would much rather check and see if the sense if we had um, space, but I don't know how. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Oh. Yeah? Oh, I'll be right back. I gotta go find the black garlic for blueberry. Oof. You have to buy the black garlic from the bird.
I'm super happy about that. Okay, cool. And I'm back. And yeah. Okay, so here we go. Um, yeah. So let's, we're gonna, we're, we'll try this again. Um, it's still very much a like back off approach, which I don't love. I'd prefer to check and see if there's space. But that's okay. Um, hmm. Although now I'm wondering. This should probably be async. Fuck. Because uh, that way we don't block the main thread in the same way. And here, what we'll do here. And this just implicitly, uh, Heidi Jetsons. Oh, are those the NVIDIA Jetsons or is this something else? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, no, no. I have worked with the NVIDIA Jetsons. I actually have a bunch of them in my cluster. Um, I really like them. I got them for free, though. Uh, full disclosure. Full disclosure. Um, they are a little bit annoying, uh, because the software on them is, like, a little out of date compared to everything else in my cluster. Um, it's just because the NVIDIA, like, uh, ARM folks haven't been as fast at updating things. So it's a little bit annoying to have, have sort of, like, these, these nodes that are out of date. But on the flip side, like, yeah, you know, they, they do their thing. Um. So, you know, that's, that's kind of cool. Um, there probably is, um, like, the ARM and, the ARM stuff from NVIDIA is pretty powerful for GPU stuff. But I gotta say, like, I'm a little disappointed in the NVIDIA tooling for their own gear, right? Like, um, for example, NVIDIA stuff for, like, the Kubernetes things doesn't work with some of their own NVIDIA ARM Jetsons, which is a little frustrating. Um, so like, they're not, they're not like super happy fun times, I would say. Um, but you know, for free, like, heck yeah. Um, okay, yield. Um, Yields. You can. It's painful, but you can. Here, let's see. Yeah. Um, so these are these are my NVIDIA Jetsons. Um, these are the other machines, right? Bubbles, Experiment 221, Nano 4GB, etc. etc. But like, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, um, here. Uh, let's see what it's got. This one has 32 gigs of RAM, which isn't a huge amount, but, you know, it's better than nothing. And it's got eight cores. Um, so, you know, or at least eight core like things. Huh. Why is this not serving any traffic? Oh, it's out of date, I guess. Hmm. But this one's serving traffic, right? Computers, computers were a mistake, but that's fine. Oh, interesting. Let's reboot it. Okay. Ah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um. That's. It's not private. Um. It's just more that it doesn't super exist. Um. But yeah, that's a good point. We should probably make. Uh, like this is this is like a fun project, right? Like, so it's a bit more seat in my pants than than normal. Okay, right, yeah. Boot up. Uh, oh yeah, no, it's gonna be boot up by if log file is not. Uh, flush. Actually, I guess. Cool. Fix that. Yeah, I mean, so to be clear, like, I, I do work with some other people on this stuff. Um, like, the, the electrical engineer is in Ukraine. He's, he's lovely. Um, and, you know, that's, that's solid. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, so I do all of the software. That part is, yeah, but, like, I like, I like doing that. Hmm. Which reminds me, actually, um, I need to look at a t-shirt design um, for my day job uh, because I ordered a design for a, a team shirt. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, okay, cool. It looks pretty cool, I'd say. Uh, let me bring it over here. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not doing the design. Um, so I just like I paid someone to do some design, um, and so I've got a. I've got a. Um, yeah, uh, I still need revisions. I like it a lot. Uh, could we put? 
all of the logos together on one dumpster fire. There we go. Uh, yeah, I know. My design skills are, are they're, they're atrocious. Um, so I, I pay other people to do design. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like I like that design. I think it's very very dumpster fire esque, um, and it's just because like our team has been going through a lot uh, at our day job, and so uh, we're gonna we're gonna get some some shirts made that'll hopefully like help um, stuff be better. Okay, send logs async is not defined. Cool. Uh, send logs. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Let's check. Uh, okay. this look right? Oh, okay, yeah. I guess we made send async, so we gotta check the other places where we call send. Uh, okay, yeah. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah. Do that blocking. That's going to be blocking. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, Some data async uh, with. Check. Yeah, looks good. Okay, cool. Let's run it. Oof. After this is done. So the answer is yes and no. Um, not on, yeah. So yeah, yeah, the answer is complicated. Um, so for the most part, the answer is no. There are some notable exceptions. Um, and, but for the most part, it's easier to just use uh, async uh, I.O., uh, or in this case, micro async I.O., uh, and just have a single thread, um, which is which is what we're doing here. And so it's more cooperative multitasking. Um, but, you know, it 
it does the trick uh, for for my use cases. Okay, coroutine expected inside of create task. Gotcha. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, Golang, Golang, so I've never actually written Golang code. I've read and I've helped debug a partner's Golang code um, when we were giving a talk together. Oh, heck yeah, it looks like it's working. Um, blurb. No, okay, whatever. Uh, the main thing is like, we're, we're getting stuff. It's looking, it's looking good. Um, we can probably uh, decrease that back off a little bit more, uh, actually, too. Um, Oh, that's good. Oop. Okay, now we've disconnected. And it's going to do this exponential back off, and then it gets an OS error because, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, not only is this Mountain Dew, this is Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's see if the, um, whatever it is, 20th of a second back off is, is enough. Um, Um, <clears throat> and then, yeah, hopefully this will work soon, and then I'll go start cooking our our dinner. We're going to have some, uh, some friends over because, I mean, that's, that's, that's life with family holidays and being queer. Um, so it'll be nice. It'll be really nice. I'm looking forward to it. No. Uh, so, <clears throat> I feel like the people who do um, game dev are, like, super, super committed to it. And I dig that. Uh, I'm just not that kind of person. Like, I find playing games, like, hit or miss, personally. Uh, and so, like, yeah. Okay. Um... Okay, I'm actually going to hit Control-C because I want to see... So looking at this, it does... It looks it looks reasonable. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead. We're going to make this... If...
Oh, uh, yeah. Only bother logging two retries. Oh, yeah. John Cormack, hella hardcore. And so, like, I mean, there's people who love games. They're amazing. And it's just like, I'm not, I'm not that person, you know? And that's, that's cool. Uh, and I'm super stoked that, that other people are that person. Um, yeah, cool. I hope this works, because then I can save it, do a git push. And move on. my other adventures. Um I don't know. I I'm I don't I how would I say this? There's, there's a time in my life when I would have said, you know, C++ is, is, is definitely good. But, like, honestly, I think at the end of the day, yeah. Uh, so, technically, and by technically I mean very, very technically, I have some code that made it into the Linux kernel. Um, let's see if I can find it. Um, um, so yeah, I've, I've written C code, and I actually, I even have an assembly code tattoo on my back um, from when I used to do more level, low level stuff. And I think low level stuff can be a lot of fun. And I think it's it's really cool. I haven't done it in in a very, very long time though, right? Like um I think one of the things that I think about is like sort of in in how we structure our world is like we need a relatively small number of people working on sort of the foundational stuff. And the more levels up the stack you go, like the more people you see working in that kind of area, right? And so, um, like, I, I make tools for other engineers, but I still, I obviously use tools that other folks have made for me to use to make tools for other people, right? And so it turtles all the way down. And I, I like functional programming, and Python and I have, like, a, a love-hate relationship, but yeah, it's, it's okay. Okay. Connect UART. Ow. Burp. Yeah, there we go. It's a party. Um, looking good. Um, so I think we'll we'll call this working. Which is pretty good. It's been about an hour. Um. So yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, if I was 18. So actually, hilariously, when I was 18 was probably when I made that choice. And I think I chose functional programming in a large part because of the person, the people who I met. Um, and I just felt like that for me, the functional programming people were pretty chill. And I, you know, the programming is always some component of frustration, but I found it generally less frustrating. Um, my times doing low level stuff, like, 
certainly there's that like feeling of accomplishment and stuff there but a lot of times I'd spend several days being frustrated um, and that, that still happens to me now but not as often um, and you know what that, that might have happened to me either way yeah yeah. There's still times when I wonder if I made the right choice. But I think, like, I think the, the nice thing is, right, like, you know, if you're not having fun, it's it's easy to move and do something else. Had you your friends that are here? Do you want to come say hello to everyone? Yeah. I love you. Did Pooh Bear give you more eggs, to, or did she say that you've had enough eggs today? Because you appear to me to have very smelly farts. Yeah. Yeah. AK says hello. Timbit would say hello too, but he's more just like a giant ball of fluff right now. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, and it finally failed with error 128. My guess is error 128 came from, yeah, the the connection went away on this end because my phone timed out. So, oh, interesting. Oh, you want to get down, don't you, buddy? Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, yeah, so it's been about an hour, um, and so you know what, I think I'm going to wrap up. Thanks, thanks AK for coming and saying hi, thanks everyone for watching. Um, I hope that you all have have a good day and a good weekend. Um, I'm going to, I guess, oh yeah, before I disappear, I should do a git push just so that I don't like lose the code, because that happens to me sometimes. Um, Uh, make sending the logs async, uh, so we don't block the main thread. Cool. Uh, sounds great. Oh, thank you. That's really sweet. Um, have a good one.